think there is no debate when I say that this is probably the most controversial and most hated PCs on the internet. When I made a video about my Alienware, I really didn't expect that it would spark so much conversation debates in the comments about just how terrible or just how good it is. I personally just wanted to get a good work computer, something that I knew would have decent performance considering that it has a 3080, Nvidia 3080, that has 16 gigs of RAM. I mean, literally just everything that I needed for work, for gaming, and of course for a dual monitor setup. This is of course the Alienware Aurora R10. It's liquid cooled. AMD Ryzen 7, the uh, NVIDIA RTX 3080, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, pretty much all of the specs that I need. I was personally just excited to make a video about it just because the more performant PC that I have pretty much ever had and I also didn't want to build my own PC. When I made the video, I was just making the video because I was excited about making a video about uh, my new PC. Surprise, like man, all these people, like what? What is the reason why they hate it so much? Of course, yeah, there's all these videos about all these other YouTubers talking about how terrible it is and how terrible the cooling is. In my experience so far, and I've had it for, I mean, I, I can look back on the video now, maybe five or six months that I've had it now. Honestly, I haven't had any issues with it. I don't know if it's really normal for Windows 11 or even just uh, for Alienwares in general. In the last six months, maybe once a month I've had an issue where it'll show like a recovery blue screen and then I just restart it and then it works just fine after that. I don't know if that's a Windows 11 issue, if that's just a common issue with PCs in general because I'm normally an Apple guy. Like I have had an iPhone since I was 13 years old. I was like always crazy about having an iMac, iMac desktop, a MacBook laptop, an iPhone, iPods, iPads, all of that. And so of course, like I was, I was considering getting a Mac at first, but as you all know, they're really expensive. And when it comes to performance, you probably have to spend a little bit more on a Mac just to get performance, the same kind of performance on a cheaper alternative. I think the main issue here is that a lot of people were complaining that it's, that it has just terrible temps, that it's just, it gets hot and it doesn't run well. And I've, I've read comments, I've seen people talking about how the temperatures are just not good on Alienwares. And I can see where the issue is because the case is just pretty much fully enclosed and the venting, I guess of the air that does come in, it's from the side here of the, of the PC. And then all of the air exhaust that comes out is at the top, which is a good layout to begin with, especially that I have it mounted on top of my desk here. So it's on an elevated area and I have my desk standing right now just for the video. I usually have this all the way down, but um, I, the PC is never really that loud. It's honestly never really that loud. It'll only get loud when I have like two monitors running with a game running and on full settings. And I got a whole nother thing going on on my separate monitor. This monitor is a 4K monitor, 60 frames. This monitor is where I run most of my tasks. And then the other monitor, I believe it's a 2560 by 1440, but it is a 165 Hertz monitor. So that's the monitor that I game on. So main concern of all, for a lot of people is that the heating is just, the, the temps are not good. But in my experience, I think if I could say I have an excuse, the reason why there probably aren't as many issues as there could be is because it's liquid cooled. And maybe if this wasn't liquid cooled, then I would probably have returned it months ago but I've had it for five, six months now, and I can't say I've had any issues. The only issues that I actually run into is issues with the game itself. And I don't know if you guys run into the same issues, but I, I play a lot of Call of Duty. I play Warzone. Warzone crashes all the time. And I know that's not just me because I watch some streamers, I watch other YouTubers, and they all complain about the same thing. I'm pretty sure that's just a lot of the issues with the game itself. I'm not really sure like what the best benchmark system or tool to use to test uh, just how good this PC or just how terrible this PC is. But just speaking from experience, using it, gaming on it, working on it, I haven't had many issues on it. As I said, I run this thing at full blast, like uh, gaming and things going on this other monitor the whole time. When the fans will start spinning when I'm playing a game and it, I played at full settings and no issues. So far, it's been a great PC. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. I, I know that a lot of people were just like so pissed. They were so fed up. Like they were so 
they were so passionately just like arguing about how terrible of a decision I made and, and how terrible Alienwares are and that they just shouldn't exist and all these things. And I, I agree to some extent. I agree that maybe they should, they could make a better design. They could make a case where there's better airflow um, because when I do feel the heat, I don't know if it's like, I guess normal, but uh, there, it, I do feel a pretty decent amount of hot air coming out. Yeah, there's definitely better PCs out there. There's so many better PCs out there and probably cheaper that I could have gotten maybe same price. I needed a PC right away because the my previous PC, it was a really old crappy PC and I think it was like from Best Buy and the CPU I think got fried or the motherboard got fried somehow and I needed a new PC ASAP. I found that this was a good fast replacement. Uh, eventually, of course, I think I'll get more serious about the PC that I'm buying and uh, I'll probably get something a little bit more custom, but for the time being, this is exactly what I need. I still have it. You can see it's still on my desk six months later or however long it's been, and it's been great so far, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what PCs you have. I don't know if this is going to start a whole new fire in the comments section, but I mostly wanted this to be a discussion about this PC. Uh, maybe, I don't know, go ahead and start a discussion in the comments. I'm sorry if it wasn't as informative as you wanted it to be. I'm sorry if like I didn't run all these benchmarks. If you have any ideas, let me know. If you have any cool apps or any good applications that I could use to show the benchmarks, I could totally embarrass myself in a video. I'll make that video. I'll make a video running the benchmarks, showing the temps and everything. Uh, give me some ideas. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the best at that stuff. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you stuck all the way through, Please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.